Hi everyone, I'd like to introduce you to my newest quilt. It's called Petals, Wings, and Other Things. It consists of 11 different blocks, and they're all set on either a circle or an oval of all different sizes. As you can see, the ovals are all consistent with the background fabric, but the borders on each block are different. I thought that added a little bit of interest to the blocks. The first block up here is the Baltimore Oriole, and those of you that know me know I don't like orange, so it was a little bit of a stretch to put this in here, but it gave it some wonderful color. So the Baltimore Oriole I set along with a black-eyed Susan that has some beadwork done here in the center. The next block is the Dragonflies. Now this was a real challenge. I had to use a diaphanous nylon fabric so that I could sprinkle threads between the different layers in order to get the veins that you see in a um, dragonfly. So there are just some three dragonflies amongst some grasses here and some few little pink flowers. The next one is the Mockingbird. Now the mockingbird was really an interesting flower to do because a uh, bird to do, I should say, not a flower. Uh, the mockingbird is the um, state bird for five different states, so that's why I wanted to do the mockingbird. But he had some interesting things that I had to do. In order to make it look like a real mockingbird, you had to paint on the feathers here to give them that little white edge that you see on a mockingbird. And I chose to set him with a small magnolia flower. The next block is the macaw parrot. Now that was a real fun one to do because of the color challenges on this quilt. Uh, you can see that you had to bring in such beautiful bright reds and yellows and greens and blues. And just with the proper, proper placement of the uh, fabrics, you were able to get a very realistic looking parrot. And I set him, of course, with a hibiscus flower so that you would see that he's m more uh, common in the southern states. The next one is a monarch butterfly. The butterflies are really fun to do and give you a lot of dimension. As you can see, it looks like I just took some butterfly novelty prints and cut it out, but I didn't do that. We actually made the fabric for this butterfly. You bond your two pieces of black together, and then you bond one side of a piece of orange, cut out your different shapes, and iron it onto the bonded fabric of the black and the little white dots are all put on just with fabric paint, giving it a very, very realistic look. And I found these little pins that I can use as the antenna on butterflies that give them uh, just the final touch. The one on the bottom here is the bluebird. You may have seen this before. This is a pattern that I had already done, but I wanted to repeat it because it was so popular. And the bluebird, as you know, has a vibrant blue flower uh, feathers on it and then this orangey red breast on it. And the next one is also a repeat because it's the cardinal. The cardinal is the state bird for seven different states. So that's why I wanted to include him on this quilt. And I've put him on a branch with just some Christmas holly and little berries. And the berries are so simple to do, you just cut them out with a hole punch. Now how much easier can it be than that? Over in this corner, I have a painted bunting. This is a new design, and I chose him because of the vibrant colors. I thought he sort of offset the parrot well. And the uh, painted bunting has a red breast, but it also has greens and yellow greens on it, and was um, a really fun one to do. The next is the woodpecker, the red-headed woodpecker, as you can see from this very bright red head that he has on here. And I set him on a tree trunk with a little hole here uh, done with some dark fabric so that it looks like he's actually eating some of the bugs that are inside that hole, which is what happens with a woodpecker. And this block is the blue morph butterfly. And I chose it just because of the colors. It has a chocolate brown background with the turquoise accent pieces on it, done the exact same way that the monarch butterfly was done, by taking the two pieces of the brown and bonding them and then applying the turquoise pieces on top. As you can see, it's just set in a branch with some leaves, but this shows you how you can shape these leaves and really get a very realistic look. In order to shape anything, you just have to heat it with your iron put it in whatever shape you want it to be, and just hold it till it's cool. It's that simple. And then the shape will stay. 
The center for this quilt is the American Eagle, of course, the bald eagle. And people have been requesting a bald eagle for a long time, and I finally made one. And I'm happy with him. I put him in a great big nest, which is another technique that I teach on how to do uh, the different nests out of some scraps of fabric. The whole quilt was then bordered by flowers from summer, fall, winter, and spring. The summer borders are hydrangeas. And what I did was I chose to make my vines out of the greens that you would see from that season. So you'll notice that the vines in each one of these will change with the different colors for the different seasons. This is the fall border, and the fall border uh, is, I chose just to do some fall leaves, some maple leaves and some oak leaves. The bottom border is the Christmas rose, and it looks very much like a poinsettia, but it's not. It's the Christmas rose, and that was the flower that I chose for the winter. And over on this edge is spring, and I chose the dogwoods, of course, for spring, with a nice spring-colored green for the um, vine on this. I hope you enjoyed looking at this quilt as much as I did making it. The quilt is available to you in three different ways, the patterns for it. Number one, you can get it as a block of the month, where each month in your mailbox you'll receive one of the quilt patterns. Another way that it's available is you can purchase all 12 quilts at one time, and then you would be able to work at them in whichever order you decided to do, or you can purchase just one block if that's what you'd wish to do. I hope you're happy with this quilt as I am. Please visit my website, www.petalplay.com.